want to chat about like remember last October we have been talking about like how great the um, Sixers will be and and I who feel, knew? Yeah, you were right. Yeah, and then how you are actually satisfied with the team right now? Yes, and we keep getting better. So, so of course, in, in October when we were in Shanghai and Shenzhen, mm -hmm. we talked a lot about Joel Embiid, the process, mm -hmm. and Ben Simmons, uh, who's an Australian, six foot ten, two hundred and forty pound point guard who's playing incredible, both All Stars this year, and then we added Jimmy Butler, a perennial All Star. And recently, Tobias Harris, and so that those four with JJ Redick, we think give us one of the top starting fives in the NBA. So, how do you um, rate about like Toby and Bobby adding into the team right now? How's the chemistry so far? Well, it's really early. They haven't played a lot of basketball together. So we have twenty. We're at, you're at the game tonight. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Playing, playing the Heat. Hopefully, you get a win. So we have twenty four games left in the season. And so that's the time, you know, for us it's all about preparing for the playoffs and a lot of that is chemistry and understanding who is cutting where and who's moving where and where Toby wants the ball and where Bobby wants the ball and, and defensively getting comfortable with the switches um, and the hedges and the help or not help. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's what we're trying to do for these last 24 games. We're preparing for the playoffs. This, this is the time right now. I, I, that is the um, like a final version of the team this season, or are there any addition, more addition coming up? Well, the trade deadline's over, so this yeah. this is our team. Or any um, buyout you guys. And would so you uh, never know. <laughs> um, Elton Brand is our general manager. is a first-time general mm -hmm. manager, and to think three years ago he was playing in the NBA, mm -hmm. and and to see how he has come together and and led us and organized this this organization and constructed the, the roster that he has. If he is not the executive of the year in the NBA, I haven't been in this league for 25 years. He is incredible. Yeah. And so I would say that if there's if there's talent out there to get, we'll certainly find it and get it and improve this team. There's nothing more important than, than us putting a team that this organization and this city and the world can be proud of. I think Elton Brand has done a wonderful job of that. What, what the team would actually do in, like, in the next step for further to, to win a championship, yeah. I hope. Yeah, so that's our that's our aim and our goal, and we, we've been pretty consistent um, since we, we came into this organization that the, the opportunities to, to win the, cha the NBA championship, and that takes time and patience and young players coming up and wonderful draft picks and great additions through trades and free agency, and I think we have a nucleus that's good enough to do that. Now, it takes a little bit of luck, and they have to be healthy, and they have to play well, and there's, of course, the Golden State Warriors out there. It's a pretty, pretty good club. Um, but, but right now, we're focused on our team and getting better. Um, the East is stacked this year. So you have between the, the Bucks, the Raptors, the, Raptors, yeah, they are the actually Celtics, like having the a Pacers, lot of, like, and us. Those are yeah. five extraordinary teams that can compete with anybody in the league. So, so our focus right now, though, is on the Philadelphia 76ers. How do we get healthy? How do we stay healthy? How do we get some chemistry with each other, both in and out of the locker room? Yes, like kind of stress stress out for you yes guys. it is yeah, yeah we don't sleep a lot these days um I, I can tell you that that we are spending every waking hour trying to figure out how to put our team in the best position to win um and and we're we're happy with the talent level we know these organizations are up they're extraordinary organizations so it's not like you know for for, for to win in the nba is really hard mm -hmm. uh, and we're doing everything we can to get there but yes of course we're tracking with the bucks and the and the raps and the Celts. And the Pacers are doing, and, and and they're great organizations with wonderful, smart people running them. Um, and I think they've done they've done a really good job putting a great team on the court. And at the end of the day, you throw the ball up and you play, and, and that's what we can't wait for playoff time. So one last question: How far do you think the team can go this season? Oh man, I, I tell you what. Um, well, I, I can tell you what I dream about. I dream about playing in the finals. Um, you know, whether we can get there or not this year, or whether it's next year or the year after, I'm not so sure. What I am sure of is this team is on the right path. And we've been on the right path. And I've been here six years, and every year we've made the right moves to get to this point. Where we have an extraordinary team of players, of character, and talent, and they, they're coming together. And we're led by a wonderful coach in Brett Brown and an extraordinary GM in Elton Brandon. It always starts with those leaders. Like we have the right leaders, we have the right talent. Now it's time to go play. So, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.